Hello and welcome to Learn Easy Tutorial. In this series, we are going to learn Java. We will be covering basic concepts and will learn how to code some of the basic programs. How do two people communicate? With help of language, right? Similarly, for a person to communicate with a machine, the language used is called programming language. Here is a simple Java code to print hello world. And this is the output. We instructed the computer to print hello world and we got the desired output. Let's see another example. We want to open a browser. First, we will go to the desktop. We will click the icon which opens it. To execute the simple operation, there are preloaded instructions written for detecting the movement of mouse, what should be done when we click it, and how to load the browser, etc. The language understood by the machine is known as machine language. It is in the form of ones and zeros, but it is really difficult to code in this format. Imagine yourself writing a code like this. Machine language is a low-level language. It is not only difficult to write this, but if an error occurs, it is very difficult to locate the error and correct it. Thanks to developers like Dennis Ritchie, James Gosling, and many more, we have a variety of languages available to write programs that meet our needs. Integrated Development Environment is a software application that helps us to develop a program. The IDE I am going to use in the series is BlueJay. Here we can edit, compile, debug, run or execute the instruction so as to give the desired output. I have included the link to download BlueJay IDE in the description below. Java is a high level language that use English like words in its code. The program can be written in the source code editor or the text editor. Once we have written the code, we can compile it. So what is a compiler? It is a program that converts source code to binary code or machine code that can be understood by the machine. It also checks for syntax errors and does code optimization, etc. Some IDE includes a debugger which helps us find the bug or errors and correct it. If there are no errors, the compiler compiles the code successfully and generates a binary code, which can be executed to get the desired output. Now let's see what is meant by programming paradigm. Programming paradigm means the approach we choose to write the program. We will discuss a couple of them to understand the concept. First, let's see a program to do a simple account login. The login page is as you see on the screen. You need to write a program to accept username and password. Once the sign in button is clicked, these data should be cross referenced with the database having the registered set of users. If the values are correct, they should be taken to the desired page. In this program, the sequence of steps followed is more important irrespective of who the user is. This kind of approach is called procedural programming approach. It emphasizes the order in which the instructions are executed. If the value entered in login page is wrong, then it has to display invalid username or password. There is also an option to reset the password. If a user resets the password, data stored in memory will be altered. That is, state of a system will be changed. State of a system is like a snapshot of the system at any instant. For example, printer printing or the data stored in the memory, etc. If a program can alter the state of a system, it is said to cause side effect. Another approach is the functional programming approach. It emphasizes what data is being executed rather than in the order of execution. Let's consider a program that will display prime numbers between two numbers. Here, the focus is on the data or what is being executed rather than how. 
Similarly, there are many other programming paradigms. Java is very flexible and lets us use multiple paradigms. Let's see the features and advantages of Java. Java was designed and developed by James Gosling. It is a high-level programming language that uses English-like words to write programs. It incorporates object-oriented programming concepts which we will learn in detail in our next video. Java is platform independent. This means if you write a Java code, it can be copied to any other machine even it has a different operating system and runs it with minimal changes. Whereas machine language, assembly language are machine dependent languages. That is you have to write separate code for each and every machine. It is repetitive work as well as time consuming. Java is easy to code and debug. Debugging means finding faults and correcting them. And also Java lets you to write code in modules and to reuse the code. That's all for now. In our next video, we will be learning about the basic concepts of object-oriented programming. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy learning.